Now we are going to discuss about the proteins. So what are proteins actually? They are complex nitrogenous polymeric substances. That means they are a polymer, that means a huge molecule and what they have? They have a nitrogenous group in them. And uh, this thing, this, these uh, proteins which we, are going, which we are discussing now is present in almost all living matter. So what we can, how we can define it? They are the complex nitrogenous polymeric substances present in all forms of living matter. So how we can form actually? Suppose you have uh, these two, uh, you can say amino acids, then what we, uh, just with the elimination of the small molecule, that is the water, we can get, have a protein. So what is the formula? It is this, this remain as such, as they are written, just you need to remove this OH and this H and they will get linked to it. And it becomes like this and this is a structure for a protein. So this is actually a protein which is formed by the condensation of two amino acids with the elimination of small molecules. So if we talk about that proteins, like what are proteins, we can say that they are a peptides, they are peptides with high molecular weights. As you can see that this is a protein, this is a peptide and you know that uh, this molecule actually has a very high molecular weight and molecular weight can range up to a very high extent. So we can say that proteins are peptides with very high molecular weights. Now if we just try to classify them depending upon that how they look like, so we have fibrous proteins and we have globular proteins. Fiber, how fibrous proteins look like? They are, as the name suggests, they are fibers, so they look like thread. They are thread-like molecules which lie side to side, side by side to form a fiber, this kind of thing, right. And they are held by hydrogen bonds. They are held by hydrogen bonds, but they are insoluble in water because the bonding is quite strong and they can actually resist the change in the pH as well as the temperature. They can actually resist that. But if we talk about globular proteins, so molecules are folded into a compact unit. They form a compact unit or you can say spheric, uh, spherical shapes, means spherical kind of shape. And they are soluble in water as they are capable of forming a bond with the water. But they cannot resist the change in the pH as well as in the temperature. So this is how we are going to classify proteins uh, on the basis that how they look like, whether they resist pH or not into fibrous and the globular proteins, right. So we have further more classification also. So what you do is just try to do this basic introduction first and then we'll start with another classification with the main process that is the denaturation of the proteins.